Well, you ever heard of like you wanted maybe to connect your VPN to a computer or you wanted to connect uh, your VPN to another phone. So most times it happens that if you connect directly to your like using hotspot, it won't work. Of course, you need to do some stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you do how you can share your VPN to another phone. Well, here you need uh, an app called PDNet or any other app, but uh, I will prefer PDNet, which I will give. I will link it in the description of this video below. So you have to have it. So all you need to do is to go open it. After opening, you need to. So it depends if you want to connect to a phone or um, a phone. A PC so if you have a PC I'm going to show you how you can connect to a PC so let's start with a phone so what do we need to do all you need to do is to click um, Wi-Fi direct hotspot and then you go to your phone turn it to the other phone well I don't have the second device but I'm going to show you how it is supposed to be you open Wi-Fi then after opening Wi-Fi you connect to that uh, you connect to this the, the, the VPN they are showing you the network they are showing you and you enter that uh, that uh, that password after entering after entering then you click hop after clicking hop you select that mm. then you have to launch your VPN so I'm going to launch my VPN um let me see which vpn should i use okay i'm going to this one well after starting your vpn after connecting winters connected successfully so you hold on as it is uh, connecting so my vpn has con i will click close and then the next step to do is to go to the pdnet which we have here yes. yes after connecting so when you connect to the pc this is what what it shows the first is desktop and then next one is a phone so i'm going to show you what you need to do and then we go on the other side you have to pdnet i hope you're seeing the cursor when you go to pdnet you connect to the phone so when you look at my screen uh, the network which is there is called direct but uh, it's showing the phone because i've installed the pdnet windows client so you click connect so as you've seen when it connects that's what it brings you don't need a password because you've installed uh, that already you I mean, I already connected it so when you connect this is what happens uh, well uh, I've launched my my uh, browser here so let's go to YouTube and we see if the internet will be shared to the computer after after yes we are loading let us see well there we are YouTube was connected so I hope you, you see even the data usage is shown there on the screen you can be seeing on your phone that uh, you've used 27 megabytes already 37 but uh, don't forget so let's search my channel as i enter scott ug so if i enter scott ug to be searching i'm sorry i'm kind of boring but uh, i want uh, everyone to understand what i'm doing here so uh, i'll be kind of slow so this is my channel and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because i'll be giving you such content and uh, i promise to give you the best because uh, i know you need to okay so this is my channel uh it's called gg so it's kind of new channel but i'm i'll be updating giving you such content so don't forget to click the subscription button on your pc there or on your phone and then the notification button so that i'll be you'll be getting the latest content ever okay okay so 
let us see if the video will be playing okay so you don't forget uh, that we are trying to see how we can configure so what we need to do with a phone is what i'm going to do show you next so this is what you need to do with your phone so you get another phone the device you're going to connect to, to and then you click up here oh it's just a simple thing here okay let me show you on my notepad here okay kinda slow my PC is kinda slow but uh, okay so it's here so what you need to do is go click hop click hop on your PC okay sorry not your PC on your phone Okay. here we have clicked and then you select if it is android or if it's any other but i'll prefer you click other device so after clicking other devices it will bring you an ip which you have to enter in your wi-fi connections so what you need to do is the ip is 192.168.16 rate i entered it here you know I have lots of lots of things in my head but uh, I'll try to do my best for you it's uh, 800 zero. okay you click save so where are you supposed to enter those stuff so you go to your Wi-Fi and then to the network you do for instance uh, you go to you click more after clicking more settings you go to manual so I'm just going to type them here for you on the screen so you click on that network which you want and then you click modify on your phone modify network after clicking modifying network and then you select proxy and then you select manual selecting manual you see where they see proxy or IP I sorry it's called IP so with that IP you enter that IP which I've given you and then you go to port you enter 8000 thousand. then you click save automatically you'll be getting the 